Hello everyone, welcome back. We're starting in Luke chapter 12, verse 54. He said to the crowd, When you see a cloud rising in the west, immediately you say, It's going to rain, and it does. And when the south wind blows, you say, It's going to be hot, and it is. Hypocrites, you know how to interpret the appearance of the earth and the sky. How is it that you don't know how to interpret this present time? Why don't you judge for yourselves what is right? As you are going with your adversary to the magistrate, try hard to be reconciled to him on the way, or he may drag you off to the judge, and the judge turn you over to the officer, and the officer throw you into prison. I tell you, you will not get out until you have paid the last penny. Jesus came to spread the good news, but there is a flip side to all good news. People that don't accept the truth will go to hell. Jesus is saying that it's never too early to follow righteousness. Let's move on to chapter 13. Now there were some present at the time who told Jesus about the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mixed with their sacrifices. Jesus answered, Do you think that these Galileans were worse sinners than all the other Galileans because they suffered this way? I tell you, no. But unless you repent, you too will all perish. Or those eighteen who died when the tower in Siloam fell on them, do you think they were more guilty than all the others living in Jerusalem? I tell you, no. But unless you repent, you too will all perish. The suspicion that they had back then, and we have now, is that only bad things happen to bad people. Jesus knew they were thinking that. Um, he mentions a natural disaster that happened. The tower didn't fall on them because they were sinful. It was just an accident, and he says that there are evil men that will do things to others, but the victims aren't to blame. But what he's trying to get across is that no one is any worse than those victims, because without repentance, we are all just as guilty. We must repent, or we will get eternal death. Then he told this parable. A man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he went to look for fruit on it, but did not find any. So he said to the man who took care of the vineyard, For three years now I've been coming to look for fruit on this fig tree and haven't found any. Cut it down. Why should it use up the soil? Sir, the man replied, leave it alone for one more year and I'll dig around it and fertilize it. If it bears fruit next year, fine. If not, then cut it down. That has both good news and bad news. God is patient with our progress and he gives us second chances. The fruitfulness represents righteousness. The Galatians hasn't been written yet, but it seems as though Jesus is alluding to it here. Love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Good things don't typically come naturally to us, so Jesus knows that it can take time for us to learn all those. But he said that he won't give us forever to do so. Judgment day is coming, so now is as good time as any to be better. Try to think about the fruits of the Spirit throughout every day, then try to act on it. Thank you for listening, guys. Have a good week.